it's Erica. Welcome back to Maniacal Reader. Today is my July book haul. I've got a lot of books to show you, so let's get started. The first book I want to show you is Splinter by A.G. Howard. This is a young adult fantasy book. I believe it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling. This book follows a girl named Alyssa Gardner who hears the thoughts of plants and insects. She hides her delusions from everyone, and she's afraid she'll end up like her mother in an institution. Madness runs in her family. Ever since her great-great-grandmother, Alice Liddell, told Lewis Carroll her strange dreams. Her great-great-grandmother's strange dreams is what inspired Lewis Carroll's tale, The Adventures of Alice in Wonderland. One of my friends on Goodreads told me that this is an awesome fantasy so I'm looking forward to it. The cover is gorgeous, which is one of the main reasons why I picked it up. The next book I want to show you is Scratch by Rhonda Helms. This is a new adult romance book. It follows this girl named Casey, who's a DJ in a Cleveland dance club. She is somehow attracted to Daniel, who is open and charming and not afraid to share his feelings. When Casey's at college, She's reserved and practical and willing to put her past behind her. But Daniel is eager to draw her out of her reserved bubble and to join a world that's messy and unpredictable. Daniel doesn't know about the scratch is that are on Casey's stomach, but she somehow can't tear herself away from Daniel. This sounds like a, a good book. I like new adult romance lately. And this book sounds like it might have a serious edge to it, so I can't wait to get to this one. In summer of 2015, I read the Harry Potter series, and ever since then, I've been wanting to read another classic fantasy series called The Lord of the Rings. The first book is The Hobbit. The next book is The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the first book in the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Two Towers is the second book, and The Return of the King completes the trilogy. I've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, but that was a long time ago and I barely remember them. The only thing that I do know about this series is that it follows this main character named Frodo and he somehow has to protect a golden ring and apparently this ring has like evil properties or something, so I think he has to somehow destroy the ring eventually. I'm looking forward to getting into to this series. I may not get to it this year, but I'm definitely going to be reading it sometime in 2017. Next up, I have The Paladin Prophecy by Mark Frost. This is a young adult fantasy science fiction book. It follows this character named Will, who has always been told by his parents to be mediocre her in life, to get mediocre grades, to stay in the middle of his track team. In other words, just stay under the radar. But things change when Will accidentally scores off the charts in a national exam and he's courted by this prep school, but he wants nothing to do with them. Unfortunately, when his parents die, he has no choice but to attend this prep school. While he's there, he learns more about himself and his strange abilities. This book definitely seems interesting. It's unlike anything I've read before. Mark Frost is the groundbreaking writer and creator of Twin Peaks, and from what I know, that show has like a supernatural element to it. But it sounds like this book will have supernatural elements to it as well. I'm looking forward to getting to it. Next up, I have The Hate List by Jennifer Brown. This is a young adult realistic fiction book. It follows this girl named Valerie Lethman, and five months ago, Valerie Lethman's boyfriend, Nick, open fired in her school. Valerie is implicated in this crime all because of a list that her and her boyfriend made. A list of everyone they hate. And this is the list that Nick used to pick his targets in the shooting. Now that she's been gone for the summer, she's forced to come back to the school to complete her senior year. Now she has to deal with her rocky family relationships and her former friends, and just everything that's happened because of the shooting. It's YA contemporary, so it definitely seems like something I'd be interested in since I've liked 
YA contemporary lately. I'm really interested in characters' emotional journeys, and this book definitely sounds like it has a lot of that. Valerie still loves Nick, so she has to deal with the romantic fallout of that relationship as well. I'm really looking forward to this one. It sounds exciting. The next book I have here is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is a YA sci-fi dystopian trilogy, and The Knife of Never Letting Go is the first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. Prentice Town isn't like any other towns. In this town, everyone can hear everyone's thoughts. In a never-ending stream called The Noise, in a town where privacy is impossible, there is a secret that's so awful that means the main character needs to run for his life. He's not sure how he could escape the people that are chasing after him when they could hear his thoughts. The premise of this book sounds vague, but really interesting. I've heard mixed things about this book on booktube. Some people really love this trilogy, but some people find it dull and predictable. I want to see how I feel about it, but I'm sure I'll like it since I haven't really read many YA dystopians. Next up, I have How to Save a Life by Emma Scott. This is a new adult romance book. It follows this girl named Josephine Clark, who is determined to put her dark past behind her. But that's hard to do when she can't escape the violence in her everyday life. Her thoughts turn to Evan Salinger, a boy she knew in high school. She has memories of meeting him at the local pool, and she remembers taking solace in his company. Cruel circumstances tore them apart. And just when she thinks he's forgotten her, he reappears in her life at the moment she needs him most. They decide to escape her small Louisiana town. They're chased by police and criminals alike. It sounds like Josephine and Evan have a romance together, and it sounds like Josephine might have an abusive past. Maybe a parent abused her in the past. I'm not really sure, but... It definitely sounds like there's abuse somehow in this book. I've been loving new adult romance lately, so this is definitely a book that I'll like for sure. The next book I have here is Fallen by Lauren Kate. This is a young adult paranormal fantasy series. It follows this girl named Luce, who is drawn to a boy named Lucas Gregori. She doesn't know why, but she is somehow drawn to him, and she is determined to figure out the secret that he's hiding even if it kills her. I've heard super mixed things about this series. Some people really love it, and some people find it a drag. So I'm curious to read this book and see how I feel about the series. The last book I have here is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. This is the first book in another new adult romance series. It follows this girl named Abby Abernathy. The new version of Abby doesn't drink or doesn't swear, and she starts college with her best friend. She's determined to put her dark past behind her, but everything changes when she meets Travis Maddox. Travis Maddox wins money by participating in a floating fight ring, and during the day, he's the ultimate college charmer. Travis somehow tricks her into his everyday life with a bet. If he loses, he must stay abstinent for a month. If Abby loses, she must spend that same amount of time in his apartment. What Travis doesn't know is that he'll really like Abby for who she is. And it seems like these two characters have a relationship together. Amy McGuire also who wrote a spin-off series from the Beautiful Disaster her series, so I may like that. But Beautiful Disaster is the first book in her original series. Again, I love New Adult, so I'm pretty sure I'll love this book as well. I've heard mixed things about uh, this book. A lot of people really don't like this book because of how the themes are handled, but some people really love this book because of the romance. I'll just have to wait and see how I like it. That's it for my July book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in my next video. Bye!